Hello, I'm Dr. Derek Strachan with Divine Spine Chiropractic, located in the Old Ballard Firehouse in Seattle, and I'm here to share with you this week the health tip of the week. So this coming week is the celebration of Independence Day here in America, and so in honor of that week, we're going to talk about how to be more independent with your health. Because unfortunately right now, there is a lot of medical errors in the United States in hospitals, and so we want to share with you some staggering statistics, but also share with you at the end of this video some simple strategies to live independent of you know, the hospitals and the medical profession. Because we have a medical sick care system that's set up in our country, but we want to teach you how to be more involved with a health care lifestyle. So there is a, an organization called MAME, which is Mothers Against Medical Errors, that was, um, began by a lady by the name of Helen Haskell. And she um, started this organization because she lost her 15-year-old son to a medical error. And she wanted to get the message out and teach parents in how to, you know, what to do if they have to go to a hospital, but to go to a hospital prepared. So there's an article that she put together that uh, I'm going to share the link with you or on this email that you got today. There's a link at the bottom, and if you click on that link, you will see the full article and in there you'll learn about all the strategies that you can do to prevent you know, medical errors or reduce the risk of medical errors. But here's some staggering statistics by the, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. They estimate that 1 in 20 hospitalizations, so 1 in 20 people who go to a hospital are going to be, ex be exposed to some infection that's not even related to the problem that brought them into the hospital to begin with. So they also estimate that 1.7 million people a year um, were exposed to medical error. And of those 1.7 million people, 99,000 people died. And that was in the year 2002. So in a 1999 report called To Error is Human, the Institute of Medicine projected that between 44 and 98,000 medical errors occur, or sorry, 44 to 98,000 deaths occur in the United States, which is, you know, it's a staggering number, but they're saying that this is more deaths than motor vehicle accidents, um, breast cancer, and AIDS. So, this, is, this will kind of help you put things into perspective. So, a point or 0.1% error so a 0.1% error rate, which is far lower than the error rate in medicine, is equivalent to two unsafe landings at Chicago International Airport, Chicago O'Hare International Airport. So if we just have a 0.1 medical error, that's equivalent to two jumbo-sized planes landing unsafely at Chicago O'Hare International on a daily basis. So those are huge, huge numbers, and you know, we just need to be doing differently. We need to be taking care of ourselves differently. If you're in that sick care system right now where you're on some type of medicine and you're relying on it, you know, there's a risk that you have to go to a hospital, then there's going to be, you know, risk that you're going to be exposed to some medical error. And not to, you know, nothing against the doctors, but these things do happen. And so we're encouraging people to get out of the sick care model and into a healthy lifestyle model. And that really boils down to some really simple things. We, we categorize them into three areas. We want you to eat better, we want you to move better, and we want you to think better. So in the movement category, obviously exercise is the number one thing. It's the number one thing that people think about, but we're also encouraging people to think about their nervous system health and moving their spine and getting their spine functioning better because your spine is what's protecting your nervous system. So we can improve the mobility and functionability of your spine you're going to have a healthier working nervous system, and with a healthier, healthier working nervous system, your immune system is going to be stronger, which means less illness, less disease. You support that with healthy eating habits, so eating more whole foods and less processed foods and less things like less dairy and less grain, but more whole foods along with protein and water. Your body is going to function so, so much better and be much, much healthier, more resistant to illness and disease. And then the third one would be thinking. How important is our thinking? Well, it's extremely important. You know, people who have positive thinking habits versus those who have negative thinking habits are always going to have healthier blood chemistry. 
And our thinking patterns really stem from our belief systems. So do you believe that you, know, that you can be healthier? Do you believe you know what it takes to be healthier? You know, there's a lot of people who do think they know, but when it comes down to it, they realize that, yeah, I could have done better. So seek out professional help. Get with personal trainers. Get with nutritionists. Get with chiropractors. Get with people who have the knowledge to help you achieve your optimal level of health and well-being. We're so focused on that here at Divine Spine so that you can live the life that you want to live and also teach a healthy lifestyle for your children if you have them. Or share them with your parents who may be struggling right now and they're not sure what to do and maybe they're fed up with the medical approach. Chiropractic is going to help them get out of that, that, that stuck place that they're in, out of that model and into a healthier lifestyle model so they can achieve optimal well-being from within without the use of drugs and surgery. So that's this week's health tip. I hope it was informative for you and helpful. Please share this with people that you know, that you love and care about. And if you have any questions, you know, you can always look at our website at www.divinespine.net or feel free to give us a call for a free consultation and we'll help you achieve optimal level of health and well-being. Take care and enjoy your Independence Day. Bye-bye.